We are back in the home, we are back in the kitchen, and I am gonna show you how to make risotto. I'm your host, Casey Ghoul, and I'm gonna show you how to make incredible Italian risotto with just a few basic ingredients. I'm gonna make a vegetarian risotto with broccoli and onion, but hopefully you will have the tools after this to be able to make almost any kind of risotto your little heart desires. So what you're gonna need is some arborio rice, you're gonna need some bouillon or some stock cubes. You're gonna need onion, and today we're using broccoli. And of course for risotto, you're gonna need olive oil. You could use butter too, but in my opinion, olive oil is super healthy, super good, and always necessary for an Italian rice dish that I love called risotto. We are gonna add our stock cubes in. We have five cubes, so we have five cups of water in our pot on the stove getting hot. So we are gonna cut the top off of our onion and we are going to peel the skin off. I'm gonna show you a cool little chef trick to make a dice super easy. First, you want to cut horizontally in it, layer upon layer. Try and go about a quarter inch up each time being very, very careful to hold the blade exactly horizontal. Make your second cut this way so that you will have a very nice dice of onion. Come over on this side and make the final cuts. And we have a wonderful vegetable stock ready. We are now going to cut the broccoli florets from the trunk of this broccoli tree. We're cutting down from the lower branches up to the higher branches. You can keep cutting up the broccoli and making it as small as you want. Give it a nice char in the pan. The more you cut it up, the faster it's gonna cook. We got our pan hot. We have the onions going in and make sure that they are evenly distributed around the pan. We are adding the rice now, and in essence, we are going to fry the rice for just a few minutes. We are going to add some salt to our mixture. Add some of our stock now, just a little bit at a time. Stir the risotto. Make sure that all of it moves along the pan and that nothing is burnt. Yeah. Like a cauldron, we call you up risotto. You can see that the grains are starting to get bigger, but they still have a very, very white color. We have to get them to become more translucent, and they're also going to expand some more. So we're close, but we're not quite there. Our rice is nearly finished. We're gonna take it off the heat, put it to the side, and start cooking our broccoli. This risotto is like a choose your own adventure story. You can put butter, you can put blue cheese, you could be cooking the broccoli in truffle oil right now. We could add saffron to the risotto. We're cooking our broccoli and we're starting to get some wonderful brown coloring.
we are ready to take him off of the heat and put our plate together. Come and get it. We'll throw a few greens on there. And since we happen to have some extra tomato sauce, we'll just dabble that on the side. This is broccoli risotto. This is a recipe that you can cook, put off to the side, put in your refrigerator for a few days, and when you need to, just reheat in the pan. Mmm. Ring that dinner bell. It's time to eat broccoli risotto. I dare you to make it yourself. Bon appetito, as they say in Italian.